How's it going, NPC Nation? Welcome back to a brand new video. This video is going to be called My Thoughts on Microsoft Buying Activision. Well, that happened. <laughs> Microsoft pulled a big old play and bought Activision. Why did they buy Activision? Well, first off, more games to put uh, as exclusives more exclusive games they can have. Overwatch, we don't know if Overwatch 2 will be on both consoles. Um, they, it should be because Overwatch sold, uh, Overwatch 1, I don't know why I'm calling it 1, but Overwatch sold a lot of copies. And <laughs> it did pretty good. So, to make, to even make a sequel, you don't sell a bunch of copies and not make a sequel. So, Overwatch 2 will probably be on both PlayStation and, and Xbox. But let's talk about other games. World of Warcraft. Will they finally put World of Warcraft on console? Yes, but it'll be Xbox exclusive. But why buy Activision? A company that's going through a lot of lawsuits right now. Like, a lot. And then Blizzard. Activision Blizzard. Whatever you want to call it. So they own Blizzard, they own Candy Crush now, they own a bunch of all the companies that Activision owns, and they also own Call of Duty. So this got me thinking, will Call of Duty be exclusive to Microsoft? A lot of people say no. A lot of people think they won't do that because that'll make a lot of people mad. A lot of COD fans will be mad, but this is this is why I think it's going to happen. I think they're going to try to. I really do. I think they're going to make a COD exclusive game to Microsoft. Uh, a lot of people say Warzone is going to be Xbox exclusive. No, you can't do that. A lot of people love Warzone. A lot of people play Warzone. Will COD be Xbox exclusive? If they want to make certain games, yes. I think some COD games will be Xbox exclusive. But now they can just make their own Xbox exclusive game. The thing is, what's ironic, they own two PlayStation games. Yes, uh, the Crash series and now the Spyro series. Because Crash and Spyro was a PlayStation game. PlayStation sold the IPs to Activision and Toys for Bob. And how Microsoft owns Toys for Bob. <laughs> and they own Activision. So will they make Crash and Spyro games Xbox exclusive? Maybe. They maybe. We never know. I don't know what they're going to actually do with Activision. I don't know why they bought Activision. Sony I don't think even think Sony was gonna buy Activision. Cause what's the point? They have good. They have good companies, and Sony's also working on other stuff. It's rumored, which I want to talk about, because it's one of my favorite PlayStation series. Is Sly Cooper? I'm gonna make that into a separate video, because the 20 year anniversary is coming up this year. It's been 20 years since 2002 is when Sly Two Sly One was released. Sly Two was released in 2003. Was it no? Was it released in 2002? I know Sly 1 was released in 2002, and that's 20, and the 20 year anniversary for Sly 1 release is coming up, and then Sly 2 was released in 2004, and then 2005 was Sly 3, there we go, that's if I remember, two years later, um, if I'm correct, I think, I, I think I'm correct, but I'm gonna do a whole video, I just forget the release dates, I love the series though, the series has been great, and then... Sly 4 was released in 2013 by a different company. Will Soccer Punch pick it back up? I don't know. There's a bunch of rumors for Sly 5 that it might happen, might not happen. Um, it might happen by the people that make the Sackboy games. Because Cesaro was picked up by Oculus and was picked up by Facebook. So, well, Meta. So we don't, so I don't think it's going to happen again. They picked up Cesaro to make Oculus games, so I don't think Cesaro will make Sly 5, but I think PlayStation is thinking about it. The 20 year anniversary, a lot of people want Sly 5 to happen. The 20 year anniversary is happening. Crash got a new game. Ratchet and Clank, Clank got a new game. Spyro's rumored to get a new game. 
We don't know. But back to Activision being bought by Microsoft. Game exclusives. World of Warcraft, I can see that happening going on to console. Going on to, micro, going on, on to Xbox. What else is going to happen, though? And then fixing World of Warcraft so it's better on computer and it's going to be released to uh, conquer Skyrim even though they own Bethesda as well. So, what will happen? Well, I don't think they're going to have just all Xbox exclusive games. Yes, they bought the company to do that for their Game Pass. That's the reason they said they bought the company. But look at Skyrim. They own Bethesda, and they still make Bethesda games. Bethesda, they still let Bethesda make games for PlayStation. Skyrim still gets released on PlayStation. Um, a lot of good games that Bethesda made is being released on PlayStation still. Like, um, Dishonored. The Dishonored series has been released... 1, 2, and all the Dishonor series they made by Bethesda, they'd be released on PlayStation. So what exclusive games will Xbox make? I don't know. People say Call of Duty is going to be Xbox exclusive. I don't see that happening because that'll piss, so much, that'll piss a lot of people off that don't have Xbox. Or don't have a disc version of Xbox. If, well, it'll piss the people off to have a... a uh, Digital ver uh, Xbox X but uh, pissed the people off that have PlayStation 4 or 5, it doesn't matter. A lot of people want COD on, that play COD on console, want to keep it on both consoles. But we'll find out what they're going to do. But they also can make mobile games. Because buying Activision, they also bought the, ga the people that made Candy Crush. So they also own Candy Crush. We'll find out. Will I see? Will Will I be right? I hope not. But they might make a side COD series and put it on Xbox exclusive. They might might they might make new games and put it on Xbox exclusive. But do I see COD other in other games? No, because they also own Bethesda and they didn't do it with Bethesda. But we'll find out. They can make a side game. Like another Modern Warfare or something, and make it and make it Xbox exclusive. But they said they only did this not to scare PlayStation or anything, not to scare Sony, but to have more exclusive games because they have less exclusive games than Sony. I'm guessing. That's just my thoughts. It's, it's a it's a weird it's a weird move. It's a good move to get more exclusive games, but it's a weird move to buy a company that has a lot of hate right now. That's the weird move. But I don't know, NPC Nation, what do you guys think will happen with Activision? Hey, they also bought uh, two PlayStation games that Sony used to own. Um, Crash is going to be... Uh, the games I think are going to be Xbox exclusive, especially is the Crash games. Even though they're not in, they weren't before, but that was because Activision was their own company. And the Spyro games. That's the two games I see, and Candy Crush is probably going to go on to Xbox Game Pass. You can probably play it on your Xbox, War of Warcraft, all that stuff. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Probably, but one thing I am going to see, I hope it doesn't happen, Call COD, Xbox exclusive only, Call of Duty. They might do that for some Call of Duty games, side games, but not like the newest one. But we'll find out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, press the share button, press the like button, press the red shiny subscribe button, press the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, and I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.